Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called removing stars from a string. So you are given a string S which contains stars. In one operation you can choose a star in S. Remove the closest non-star character to the left as well as remove the star itself. Return the string after all stars have been removed. Let's try to take an example what they are trying to say. So they have given us a string called lead code and they have given us stars. So whenever you see a star, you are basically removing the element on the left. Again, you see a star, you have to search an element on the left side. So if you go on the left side, T is not the element because T is already removed. So the next element is E. So remove E. Next, you see the star, remove D. Finally, the string that is left is L-E-C-O-E. -E. So this is your answer. So we can do this easily using stack data structure. So let us see that. Because uh, what you are doing, you are removing the topmost elements right so that is what it is so you can use that stack data structure first you see l you put it in the stack then you see e put it in the stack then you see e put it in the stack then you see t put it in the stack so whenever you see a star just pop the first element right so it's as simple as that pop the first element okay again you see the star pop the topmost element from the stack okay now let's continue you see c put it in the stack C O put it in the stack, you see D put it in the stack, you see a star, so you have to remove the topmost element. So let's remove it. Then we see E, so we see uh, we put E. So the final answer is the elements in the reverse order, which is L E C O E. And the time complexity and space complexity will be order of n. So we can actually uh, reduce the space complexity. Instead of stack, you can just use two pointers, right? So in that case, that uh, time complexity will be order of n, but the space complexity will be order of one. So how can we use two pointers? So it is very simple. Just take two pointers, i and j, okay? So this is i, this is j. First, we are starting at the zeroth position, okay? Uh, now when you see a normal element you can just move both the pointers so we will move i and j here when we are seeing an element normal element we can just move i and j pointers right next we see a normal element i and j now what happens when you see a um, star right next time i and j both point at a star so basically what your j pointer is going to do it is going to store the current value of the string which is the correct string or which is the answer string that you are returning so the end end pointer of the answer j is going to store okay so what happens when you see a star you have to move j because you are removing element right so j will move backwards so whenever you see a star you have to do j minus minus your i will always continue moving forward but whenever you see a star you are supposed to do j minus minus okay so this is a simple logic so now we see a star so where will our j come so just move j backwards so your i will remain at this position but your j will come here okay now again in the next iteration your i will obviously move forward i is always going to continue to move forward okay so next time you see a star what you're going to do again you're going to shift j and move the j backward so let us move j backward because you are removing the elements right so j will come here okay now again what will happen your i is going to move forward so let me erase this so this is our i pointer now you are seeing the element C. So when you see a normal element, you can just move both I and J pointers, right? So let us shift I pointer here and J pointer also by one. Okay. So let me erase and let me write. J will come here. I will also come here. Again, you are seeing a normal element, right? So again, I and J both pointers can be moved by one element, right? So J and I will be moved by one element. Okay. J will come here, I will come here. Again, you are seeing a normal element. So you can move I and J pointers by one element. So you move J pointer here and you move I pointer here. Okay. Now um, you are seeing a star. So you can move the J pointer backwards because you are deleting element, right? So J can move backwards. Now again, uh, you move the I pointer in the next iteration and you see E is here. So you can move i and j both elements by one. I will go out of bounds. So finally j will point towards this. So this is the string. But one second, this is not the answer, right? Because what was the answer? The answer was this. But what string you have got? You have got this string. So what is the problem that we did here? The problem is we did not replace the character. So when you are moving the i and j pointers, it is also necessary to replace the characters, not just simply move i and j pointers, okay? So let us see the um, dry run of this once again. 
so what we are going to do this time we are also going to replace the element so that we get the correct string within the string itself without using any extra space okay let us see it so initially i and j both are pointing towards this since it's a normal element it is not a star element you can move both i and j here again it's a normal element so you can move i and j till now we are not replacing anything because the because we have not yet found a star once we find a star let's see okay so i and j is here okay again we see uh, it's a normal element we can just move i and j now what happens you have a star right so once you have a star you have to move your j pointer backwards okay so i is going to remain here but your j is going to come here okay now let us look carefully what we are going to do in the next iteration obviously your i is going to move forward right because i is the a pointer which is always moving forward now we are seeing a star so what happens j will move backwards and i will remain at the same position okay so let us move j backwards so j has come here okay now let us continue now in the next iteration what is happening i is going to move forward so i is at this element now it is a normal element so you have to move i and j forward but before moving what you are going to do you are going to replace whatever element is at the position i at this place value so that you have the correct string right so here you should get the character c because these characters are deleted these characters do not exist what exists is the character c so c should be the third character so we are going to replace whatever is the element is at position i we are going to replace it at the position j so that we get the correct string remember the answer was l e c o e so we should get this correct string right so we need to replace c here so that's what we are going to do so before moving forward we have to move i and j forward but before moving forward we are going to replace the string okay now we are going to move i and j forward so j is going to come here i is going to come here and let let's move forward right so now you see the element o so again uh, it's a normal element so i and j will move forward but before moving forward replace this with o right see we are forming the correct answer string the answer string was l e c o e so you need to form it so um, just replace it properly that's it that is the only thing that we need to remember and let's move j here and let's move i here again we see the element d right so what we are going to do it's a normal element so you have to move i and j forward but before moving replace this value with d okay so let's replace this value with d and let us move i and j forward so here is your j here is your i pointer you see element star so what does star mean star means you have to move j backwards right you don't have to replace so just move j backwards now let us see this element okay so uh, j was uh, sorry j was earlier here so you have to move it backwards so j will j will come here okay now this is your i pointer i is pointing towards uh, e so you have to replace this element with e and you have to move i and j forward if you move um, i and j forward i will go out of bounds j will come here and i will go here out of bounds so you can stop so this is your final string l e c o e so this can be done using just two pointers okay now let us see how we are going to do it's very simple just declare two pointers starting with i equal to 0 j equal to 0 and then iterate over um elements right so instead of declaring i first you can also just iterate over i because i is the pointer which is just iterating over the entire um string by just moving forward by one value each time right so i will start from zero and go till the end of the string you can start j from the zeroth position so if it is a normal character if s of i if it is first of all let's discuss the case when it is equal to star if it is equal to star what you are supposed to do you are just supposed to move j backwards right otherwise if it is a normal character then what you are supposed to do you are supposed to move i forward and you are supposed to move j forward but before doing this you are supposed to replace um the value of whatever is the current value of the j pointer with the value of the i pointer right so this is the simple code and after this you are supposed to move i and you are supposed to move j but i is normally getting moved in this for loop itself so you need not give this condition just this condition is sufficient right after um, replacing you can move j and once you have done this you can just return s dot substring from 0 and it will be of length j okay hopefully this should work let us run and see if it is working it is fine let us submit and see if it's working thank you for being patient and listening